I am wondering if they go to school today. I mean, hmm. one teacher call and cancel the first class. Second teacher, I'm not so sure if they go and shop after they want to go. Rest in peace. Peace out. Maxim was done. Yeah, that song. Your song was, well, extreme. I shouldn't say was. It is quite currently playing on radio. I built in Bundong yesterday. No fault of yours, but um, it's very poetic and ironic. The fact that your song was actually playing on Independence Square while a building was building. And the building was in close proximity to the treasury. Damn, how poetic and ironic is that? I mean, the safety with the treasury, the bond, the German still. Yeah, not the best thing. So I've been at school all day, working hard, doing my thing. Kind of waiting for my brother to call me to pick me up to go back home. This is a daily vlog. You know, that was just my two cents. Um, <laughs> yeah, boy. So, what's happening with my life right now? Because this is my last year of university. I am in the Academy for the Performing Arts in the University of Trinidad and Tobago. And I'm doing theatrical design and production. That being said, the camera that is shooting this video is actually not on a tripod, but resting on a set that I built roughly a week ago. Um, one of the things that I must say my experience here has taught me is that you have to do things without having a regrets. You know, uh, there should be no regrets in what you do and you have to make up your mind to get what you want, you know, and sometimes you just have to take initiative and I took initiative this, this week. You know, one of the most dreadful things in school is having to deal with group projects. Group projects. And um, when dealing with group projects, basically in year one, yeah, we had our fill of it. In year two, we had our fill of it. In year three, we thought it was all over. Don't believe the hype. It's a sham. They are going to give you group projects in year four. And that's what's happening with me right now. So the number one issue is that people are seemingly procrastinating. And, you know, if someone does not, if someone does not uh, take initiative, the project goes nowhere. And then we're all scrambling, trying to get work done one week before the actual project is due. And that's something that I am... I am, I, I've really grown tardy of it and I have made up my mind that I am not going to be frustrated. That's why I stay these long hours at school and um, I'm freezing right now. I'm actually very cold, but I'm not letting the cold obstruct me from doing work. Although I'm actually on a break right now, which is why I'm actually recording this video. Um, I'm on Facebook right now, but for the last several hours, I've literally been working on a lighting plot in AutoCAD and there's a project that I have to do and it's due on March 2nd. Today is probably February 24th and yeah, I am I'm getting it done. So the first initiative I took with regards to my school project basically was um, hmm, taking a look at the criteria, what is involved in the project and from there I simply delegated responsibility. Now mind you, the group has no leadership, there is no leader in the group. Basically, all we have is just four people who are working in a team. At the end of the day, whoever decides to take initiative and delegate, delegate, sorry, um, you know, authority in terms of the roles that has to be taking place, we just go with the flow. And that's what I did. I took initiative and basically I simply looked at everyone's strengths and, and dished out the responsibilities as necessary. Now, during the last project, I pretty much did 80% of the work. One person had technical drawings to submit, they did that. But then I was the one that wrote the concept. I was the one that built the set. I was the one that did the 3D rendering sketches. And I had no problem doing it. But the thing is, it will always initially start off with us delegating the relevant roles to the people who we believe have the strengths. With that said, if the group members don't, how should I say, um, if they do not, follow through with their roles. That's when I take over. That's when I say, okay, enough is enough. Uh, I have to do this part as well. And basically, whatever they have done at that point in time, whether submitted late or submitted at all, I just show them what I have and it gets in the project. And that way, I avoid any embarrassment, I avoid any hurt, you know, and I get the work done. And when we get the work done, the lecturer won't be complaining. They already have their job, they get paid. 
you know so what they're doing for us is marking our performance and everyone's performance gets marked it doesn't matter whether you did any work or not i mean it could be so tiring sometimes but i have chosen not to focus on it i've chosen to be the best me that i can be and as a result of being the best me my best work comes about if someone chooses not to do the work and i have to step in it means more practice for me it means i get to do it so my advice to you today would be just do it be like nike right um so yeah i delegated the roles again we have three projects two of them are group one down one to go let's see how it's going to go basically i'll update you all maybe a week from now and um i'll just do my best to make sure that everything runs smoothly and that we have a good presentation peace out